Understanding how your camera lens works can help you add more creative control to your photography and could potentially save you money. You may think that your camera is broken because your photos are blurred. Are you sure it's not your lens? And are you struggling to hold your camera steady enough to take your photos? Again, it could be your lens. Choosing the right lens for the task can become a trade-off between cost, size, weight, lens speed and image quality. Over the next few videos I hope to improve your understanding by giving you an introduction to the concepts relating to image quality, focal length, perspective, camera shake and prime versus zoom lenses. In this video I'm going to start off with lens elements. What are they and what do they do? Lenses are made up of lens elements which are simply pieces of glass within the lens. Light enters the lens, passes through the elements and then onto the camera's sensor in order to create your final image. Each of the elements directs the light rays to recreate the image as accurately as possible on the camera sensor. Aberrations, however, can occur if the elements are misshaped, misaligned or simply of bad quality. Examples of aberrations could be image blurring, reduced contrast or chromatic aberration, which is the purple fringe you may see on close inspections of some photos. Lenses can also suffer from vignetting, which is where the outside edges of the photo are in darkness. So focal length, what is it? How does it affect your photography? Well, the focal length of your lens determines its angle of view and thus how much the subject will be magnified for a given photographic position. Wide angle lenses have short focal lengths, therefore can capture a wide area and any distant objects will appear far away. Whereas telephoto lenses have longer focal lengths, meaning that distant objects appear closer. Larger focal lengths can also isolate a subject from their background. Other factors consider when deciding between lenses is that telephoto lenses are more susceptible to camera shake, which I'll talk about in my next video. And wide angle lenses are generally more resistant to flare, partly because the manufacturers assume that the sun is more likely to be within the frame. So I hope this video was useful to you and in my next video I'm going to talk about camera shake and also the battle of prime versus zoom lenses. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.